we've seen a lot of RPGs this year. We started out with Skyrim, and then we've got Kingdoms of Amalar, The Reckoning, and now Dragon's Dogma. But let's not forget Diablo 3 and Torchlight 2 coming up as well. But Torchlight 2 and Diablo 3 are different types of RPGs. Those are more like dungeon crawl skeleton clickers. So let's stick with the Dragon's Dogma kind, which is a lot like Skyrim and Kingdoms of Amalar. Like the basics, open world, big, massive open world, leveling up, killing monsters, going on quests. That's a basic thing that makes an RPG. But there are some parts of these RPGs that developers still just haven't gotten in their brains that we don't like and doesn't work. One of those things that pisses me the most off about Dragon's Dogma is terrible quest marking. Oh my god! The Witcher 2 just came out on the Xbox as well. Can't forget about that. And that had terrible quest marking as well. What is up with these RPGs that have these quest markers that don't work? When I select a quest to be my main quest and I open up my map, there should be a marker on my map telling me where the main quest takes place, where I need to go, and what I need to do. Dragon's Dogma doesn't always do that. A lot of times, even when I select a quest and I tell it to show me on the map where that quest is, it just goes back to where my, my character is. It doesn't actually show me or mark it on my map as to where I need to go. Now, if I need to find something, I understand. It's a find quest, and I need to just kind of, like, search for it. But at least put a circle on the map of a broad where somewhere I need to go, so I kind of get an idea. Because if your map is massive, and you don't tell me where the broad kind of, like, eh, you kind of need to go in this area, then it's just a pain in the ass. I shouldn't have to have a fact open to play your game. I should be able to play your game without the guide. Dragon's Dogma boasts itself to be over 100 hours of gameplay. 90% of that gameplay is walking from one quest to another. Why? Because there is no fast travel. Now, there is a weird way of fast travel where you have to find these gems and you place the gem down and that's how you fast travel. The only thing is those gems are really hard to find. At least give me basic fast travel. Let me go from one major city to the next or one major, you know, encampment to the next. If I can't just fast travel from anywhere, fine. But making me run for 15 minutes just to start a quest is a huge pain in my ass. Don't boast you have over 100 hours of gameplay if most of those gameplay hours are spent getting from quest to another. I've spent more time traveling from one quest to another than I have actually completing and doing what the quests ask me to do. I spent 15 minutes getting from this, where I got my quest, Traveling for 15 minutes to go go tell somebody, which is part of the quest. I had to go talk to this guy. 15 minutes to get to Guy. Guy then tells me to go kill some people. Guess where those people are? Yep, right back up where the 15 minutes travel is. So I traveled 30 minutes just to get told what I needed to do in the quest. That's not cool. But then it gets even better. I go back up and I kill these guys. Guess what? I don't go back to the original guy to let him know what happened. I had to go back another 15 minutes to go tell that guy I killed them. He said, good job. But it even gets even worse. I had to travel another 15 minutes right back up to my original quest giver to get my reward. That, to me, is not only is it poor development, but it's almost like an insult to me as a gamer. That they think that I find that fun. That they're laughing as they get our money at, ugh, <laughs> We just made her spend an hour traveling to do one quest that should have only taken her 30 minutes. What a sucker. Don't do that to me. It's awful. Gamers don't want to be treated like they are pawns in your hands. We want to be treated like we're respected as gamers that you made a game that you wanted us to, to actually have fun playing. This game is more of a job than it is actually entertaining. There is a little bit of coolness when it comes to your pawns. So your pawns are your party members. You make one major pawn who's like your your lead pawn, your lead party member. I made mine named Nathan Drake, and he looks like Nathan Drake. You can use your pawns to as basically backpacks. You just put stuff into their inventory, and you can use it to put it in there when you don't want your own backpack filled. You can also get your pawns to fight for you, like I have. My Nathan Drake is more of a ranged fighter. Then I have this little girl. She's like 11. She's a badass warrior. And then I have this other chick who is a mage. You can go into these like pawn stones that go into like another realm and you can hire pawns, tell pawns you don't want them to be your little follower anymore. You can use use like friend created pawns and that whole mechanic is really, really cool. 
just having them as party members is cool too because you really get to customize how your party is for different types of quests and everything. Maybe you need a party full of mages. Well, you just kind of fire your other pawns, get a lot of mages, and there you go. And you can bookmark them and favorite them and everything so you know where they are and you can come back and use them again. That aspect is really, really cool, and I hope more RPGs in like integrate this into the game rather than just standard party members. But that one cool part of the game does not come close to making up for all the other fatal flaws. Another waste of time that this game likes to make you do is there's already several boss battles I've fought where the boss battles you actually never win. They run away. This boss has six health bars. Six. That's ridiculous. So you already know going into the fight that you're not going to be able to actually kill it. That Don't make me waste my time in a boss battle if I don't actually ever get to kill it. But this was Capcom's way of trying to bank off of everybody's love of Skyrim. And it just didn't do it for me. So overall, Dragon's Dogma is a huge skip. Even if you like Skyrim, I think you're going to find this game to be a pain in the ass. Because it's not even as good as Skyrim. Yeah, it has everything an RPG needs, but it has more of what RPGs don't need than it has what makes a good RPG. It just didn't live up to anything for me. It didn't feel creative. It didn't feel original. It's just another basic RPG. If you play Dragon's Dogma, let me know in the comments what you think. I mean, do I need to let some of the fact that it's just a bunch of running around more than actual gameplay slide? I don't think so. I think for $60 we should expect a fuller game, but that might just be me. What do you guys think of the game? And as usual, thanks for watching.